Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. Winston and I are at a Nebraska KOA. KOA stands for Campgrounds of America. And although a lot of people aren't fans of KOAs, I absolutely love staying at them with Winston. So in this video, I am going to give you a tour of what a KOA is all about and what it looks like. Come on with me, let's get started. Winston and I have arrived at the West Omaha KOA. Let's do it. So here is the entrance to the KOA. What I've noticed about every single KOA that I've stayed at is all of the stores and the, the check-in areas, they, they're all a triangular building. It's so funny. I guess it's just like, a KOA thing so that's where you check in there is night check-in um, those are the restrooms and the showers those that's uh, where all the big RVs are they have a uh, little like a bike and trike rentals here pedal car rentals there we go and cabins as well as um, a little common area, like a little community area, and then there's a community room right next to it. So there are these little cabins that are super cute, and then there are also deluxe cabins, which are basically like tiny houses. I've noticed that a lot of the KOAs are getting new uh, tiny home additions to them. There is a pool. All the KOAs I've been to have pools. And then it looks like this is like a little miniature golf course, which is, which is super fun if you're looking for something to do. And then, of course, these are some of the back-end spots. And more cabins. And there's my van over there. Now I want to take you all on a tour of our campground, or well, I should say our campsite. So when we stay at Campgrounds of America, I like to choose back in sites because they're often shaded and they back up to typically trees in my experience and um, they're pretty private so the back end spots are all kind of located over here as you can see I don't have many neighbors and all the big rigs are over there in the middle of the park so I really enjoy reserving back in 30 amp spaces uh, when I go to KOA campground. So I did back in. I have my mosquito net up. As you can see, I'm in spot number 19. So I hooked up my 30 amp electrical cord um, to my Jackery so I can get all my stuff charged. I'm currently using this Cabela's chair. My llama chair broke. I'm traveling with several chairs on this trip. Um, but yeah, so we have a picnic table, which uh, again, in my experience, back in spots always come with a picnic table we set up our rug and then um yeah just kind of hanging out we so we don't have anyone on either side of us which is just super lovely that never happens when we stay at koas so this is um our spot you know we have we have this is probably the biggest camp site we've ever had at a KOA um, so I'm definitely digging it super safe everyone's friendly it's gorgeous and our spot is literal perfection I am so stoked so if you have a minivan or a car I highly suggest uh, just paying for a back-end spot they're often 20 to 30 dollars cheaper than regular RV sites We had our final neighbor <clears throat> check out this morning. And uh, so now we don't really have any neighbors here. 
at the KOA, which is awesome. Not complaining because normally KOA campgrounds are pretty packed in here. So um, even the people with the big rig over there <laughs> haven't been here since we got here. So um, kind of crazy, but it's, it's really, really glorious because Winston can kind of walk around and um, have free reign of the area. This morning, uh, one of the employees, uh, staff came around and picked up trash. So that's a really nice perk of staying at KOAs as well. So I just walked into the KOA restrooms and this is what they look like. Um, at this KOA, they're all different. There are toilets and then there are also shower rooms with benches and showers. Really simple, but uh, all you need. Okay, y'all, thank you so much for enjoying this KOA tour. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Winston and I are headed to Minnesota, Wisconsin, well, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, maybe Michigan, and then South Dakota. Um, that's kind of on our agenda for the next month until we work on heading down to Arizona for the winter. So be sure to like this video and snag your sticker in my shop. Link in the description. We'll see you guys next time.